Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I wanted to show you Eucalyptus globulus, um, commonly known as Tasmanian blue gum. And I probably should have started my eucalypt series with this species because this is the probably the most widely planted and widely known eucalypts outside of Australia. It's usually a pretty uh, well-formed tree. In Santa Clara here, it only gets about 12 to 15 inches of rain every year, um, but it's still quite sizable and in its native habitat, um, I believe it can go up to you know, about 80 or 90 meters. Uh, it is a big tree, so it's not the most suitable for smaller backyard gardens, um, but planted in parks, it's quite nice. Um, and of course, I think it can be used at windbreaks or along highways. Um, and I just wanted to get a bit closer to show you some of the distinctive features of this species. Um, so first of all, probably the most distinctive is these single axillary buds. The inflorescence of eucalypts usually occurs either at the axis of a leaf or at the terminus of a branch, or both. And when the inflorescence occur, they can either be branched as single or unbranched. Um, so in this case, it's one single flower at each leaf axis. And you can see the fruit is quite glaucous, the fruit wall, meaning they are covered with this white epicuticular wax crystals that give them this uh, white um, look. And of course, the valves will split open once they're dry and shed the seeds. Those flower, those fruits are probably from the flowers of previous, of a year ago. Uh, and you can also see some of the buds developing here and here, which will most likely become flowers in the coming season. Um, it's a really nice species, um, but it does shed quite a little bit of litter. Um, you can see all the dead leaves, twigs, um, barks hanging that was shed from the from the upper branches um, all those dry litter does pose some fire risk um, personally I don't I think as long as you clean up um, well it is a messy tree but if you clean up it doesn't pose a more significant fire risk than the other species um, but you know it is just be careful with it personally I've also tried to you know burn a fresh leaf in a fire in an oven sorry in my fireplace um, I don't think it burns that easily at least compared to say pines um, but again just be careful because it is more or less um, flammable compared to some other species well pine might be an extreme example because they have resins in their in their leaves and branches um, and speaking of the oil I don't know if you can see it I want to show you guys against the light and only if the wind will stop moving this branch but I think you get the idea I want you to see those little transparent dots um, inside the leaf those are the oil glands that contains this um, the oil that gives the eucalypt leaves this sick signature eucalypt smell and eucalyptus globulus is probably the main or the most used species in the production of eucalyptus essential oils um, and another prominent feature, other than the flower and fruit, is the juvenile leaf. I can't quite find one, let me see. Ah, there is some. So, it's, it belongs in the series Maiden, maiden area, um, but a common feature shared by many species in this group is that they have really prolonged phase of juvenile leaves. And by juvenile leaf, I mean um, this leaf that are opposite and highly glaucous, again, meaning they're white. Um, they may take this space for a very long time, um, very long relatively, of course. Um, but you can also see this juvenile leaf coming back, especially, for example, at this branch that was chopped off. So some of the new growths, even on mature trees, will show you this feature. And sometimes you drive along the highway, you can see um, you know, sometimes they're like two trees together, but really they're just the different phases of the leaves. Um, yeah. Also, one last thing is this species does grow quite fast. Um, you know, if grown from seed, they can probably shoot 
several if not 10 feet per year especially if in a warmer climate where it doesn't stop growing when the it will stop growing and freeze and die if you live in a colder climate it's not the most cold cold hardy one but because of its fast growth rate it can sometimes be grown as an annual and because of this color especially in the juvenile phase if you grow it from seed the first year probably going to be old juvenile um, it does add quite a uh, interesting feature to the garden uh, yeah so again this is eucalyptus globulus um, um, a well like a, uh, a really nice species with a lot of pros and some cons and hope you enjoy the video and um, yeah thanks for watching see you next time